Have you ever ruminated on this intriguing question? Who was Keturah, the third woman of Abraham, and where might her descendants be today? It's a conundrum that has engrossed historians, researchers, and scholars for centuries. Abraham, a revered patriarch in the religious narratives of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, had profound relationships with three women, each leaving indelible footprints in the sands, the sands of time. Sarah, his first wife, is widely known and celebrated. Hagar, his concubine, has an equally well-documented story. Yet a third woman, often overshadowed in the annals of history, equally deserves our third significant companion. In the grand tapestry of Abraham's life, her thread is subtle but impactful, weaving a narrative often overlooked but crucial to the whole. Keturah's narrative is shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Not much is known about her origins or her life before becoming Abraham's wife. Despite this, she occupies a significant, if less explored, space in Abraham's life, Abraham's life history. Her story is seldom narrated, yet its significance cannot be understated. She is often an unsung character, a side note in the narratives dominated by the stories of Sarah and Hagar. Yet within the pages of Holy Scriptures, and in the echoes of oral of oral traditions, Keturah's presence resonates, an integral puzzle piece that completes the picture of Abraham's life. There's a third woman in Abraham's life who is often overlooked, Keturah. Don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing historical. Abraham, having lost Sarah, found solace in marrying Keturah. Her name, resonating with the fragrance of incense, is sparingly documented in the Holy Scriptures, gracing only the pages of Genesis and Chronicles. This scarcity of mention, however, doesn't truncate her significance. Keturah, whose name means incense, held an indispensable role in the progression of Abraham's lineage. Keturah was the nurturing mother to Abraham's six children, six significant figures who etched their names in the tapestry of history. The names of her sons, Zimran, Yokshan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua, reverberate with profundity across the vast corridors of time, echoing throughout the annals of history. Keturah's position as a matriarch cannot be understated. Despite her fleeting mention in the Holy Scriptures, her influence is felt through generations. She bore Abraham six sons, and with them, she birthed a legacy. The names of her sons, Zimran, Yokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Anshua, are a testament to this legacy. These names, carved in time, continue to echo across the millennia, their resonance felt in the chronicles of history. Despite the brevity of her mention in the Holy Text, Keturah's impact is unprecedented. Her sons carry forth Abraham's lineage, thereby solidifying her position in the annals of history. Keturah stands as a testament to the strength and resilience of women, her life and impact reverberating through generations. She bore Abraham six sons, Zimran, Jokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. Don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing historical. These sons and their descendants retain substantial roles in the annals of Middle Eastern history. One of these individuals was Keturah, an obscure figure in the Old Testament. Despite her relative anonymity, she is the mother of children who played critical roles in defining Middle Eastern history and culture. Particularly noteworthy among her offspring is Midian, a name that is familiar to many. Historians and scholars have spent numerous hours discussing the significance of his lineage. The general consensus is that Keturah's enduring legacy was extended to the Midianites through Midian, this particular tribe was extraordinary, comprised of nomads whose narrative has been enshrined in the Bible. The stories of their battles, triumphs, and losses are still widely studied in contemporary times. They were more than just a tribe. To many, they were a symbolic representation of Keturah's enduring influence. Often mentioned in the Bible, the Midianites aren't just an ordinary tribe. They form an essential part of the historical framework of the Middle East, standing as a testament to the influential role Keturah played in shaping history. Don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing historical insights. The Midianites, an ancient civilization known for their merchant activities, were crucial figures in the biblical narrative. They were preeminent traders of their era, engaging in constant merchant expeditions, providing a commercial bridge between variegated societies. They undertook a critical role in the facilitation of trade, transferring a myriad of goods across Egypt, Canaan, and further regions. The realm of commerce wasn't the only sphere the Midianites were active in. 
Their influence extended to key historical events, specifically in the narratives of the Hebrew Bible. One instance of their importance was observed in the tale of Joseph, the cherished offspring of the Hebrew patriarch Jacob. Joseph's life took an unforeseen turn when the trading Midianites sold him into Egyptian bondage. This unforeseen event, initiated by them, set the stage for Joseph's ultimate rise to power in Egypt, leading to the deliverance of the entire Hebrew clan during a severe drought-induced famine. Moreover, Midianites also provided sanctuary to the prophet Moses during his exile from Pharaoh's wrath in Egypt. Moses, escaping the oppressive Pharaoh's rule, found solace among the Midianites. He resided with them for a considerable period, getting acquainted with their customs and traditions, and ultimately marrying Zipporah, a member of the Midianite community. Don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing historical insights. Keturah's other sons too established tribes across the vast expanse of the Arabian Peninsula, carving a path that would forever mark the landscape. For instance, there were those who fathered Sheba. Sheba, a name that rings through the annals of time, is believed by many historians to be the precursor historians to be the precursor to today's Yemen. This place, now known for its unique culture and vibrant history, was of Keturah's sons. Venturing northwards, Dedan is another name that holds significance. Often thought to be the northern region of what we now know as Saudi Arabia, Dedan's tribe is remembered for its resilience and survival against the harsh desert climate. Then there is Zimran, eldest among Keturah's sons. He is believed to have fathered a tribe that settled settled near the beautiful azure waters of the Red Sea. These people, hardy and resilient, braved the unforgiving terrain and made a home amidst the barren dunes. Continuing the journey, we find lineage that is believed to have settled in northern Syria. A land Syria, a land of ancient cultures and timeless traditions, northern Syria is thought to be home to many of Keturah's descendants. Next, we encounter the descendants of Shua. These people are associated to the east of the Euphrates River, a region known for its fertile soil and abundant resources. These tales of the past connect us to our history, giving us a sense of continuity and understanding. Don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing historical. However, tracing the exact lineage and location of Keturah's descendants is challenging due to the nomadic nature of these tribes. Let's break it down for a clearer understanding. The tribes that Keturah's descendants pertain to are traditionally known for their transitory lifestyle. They were nomads moving from one place to another in search of resources and survival opportunities. This continuous shift of dwelling and location adds a substantial layer of complexity to tracing their exact lineage. Moreover, the challenges don't stop there. The names that were used to identify these tribes add yet another hurdle. Many of these names were prevalent in multiple tribes. This was due to the common cultural practices and beliefs shared among the tribes, leading to name repetitions. So even if historical records exist, differentiating between different tribes using the same names can be an arduous task. It's like trying to solve a puzzle where pieces are not only scattered, but also look eerily similar. Thus, tracing the exact lineage and location of Keturah's descendants becomes an intriguing yet challenging task due to the nomadic nature of these tribes and the fact that many of these names were common to multiple tribes. Don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing historical insights. In conclusion, Keturah, a lesser known figure in biblical history, has a rich legacy. Her offspring, born to Abraham, exploded across the Middle East, redefining the regional narrative. Narrative. They were traders, wanderers and artisans weaving into the socio-economic tapestry of their era. They participated in notable biblical tales and mixed with influential characters such as Joseph and Moses. Their roles varied from kings, prophets to soldiers, leaving a profound impact on the course of history. Despite being in the shadows, Keturah's lineage played pivotal roles, underscoring the importance of every character in the biblical narrative. They interacted with key figures like Joseph and Moses. Don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing historical insights. Next time you read about Abraham, remember Keturah, his third wife, and the impact of her lineage. Often overlooked, Keturah and her descendants have a significant influence in the Middle Middle East, enriching known tales. 
Their presence in history's grand tapestry weaves an intricate story with lasting remember. Every thread counts and every story matters. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this. Don't forget for more intriguing historical insights.